Christie Street, please. Oh, I didn't have you marked down as a Catherine Cookson. It's a funny mum. That's Mrs. Sugden? Yeah. She gives me sixpence to do her shopping and get her library books. Isn't it time you had a rise? Well, I've only just persuaded her to let me wear long trousers. Be going out with girls next. Then there'll be no stopping you. Oh, I hope so. It's not all it's cracked up to be. You mean all those late nights? Having fun, drinking alcohol and dancing. Getting up early the next morning with a hangover. You sound as if you know a lot about it. I've got a brother, he tells me. Sounds interesting. You must introduce me to him. You wouldn't like him. Why not? Well, he does read Catherine Cooks. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but he goes to bed early with his cocoa and his book. I thought you said he was out on the town every night. That was until you said it sounded interesting. Then I thought I'd better come clean and admit it was me. <laughs> You're mad. I'm mad. Amos over there thinks someone's sabotaging his sprouts. Well, in that case, I won't have lunch at the Woolpack again. Oh, that's a pity. We could have risked a meal together. Oh, well. Poisoned on our first date. That would have been bad luck. Well, we don't have to eat. We could just have a drink, I suppose. It's, uh, Sarah, isn't it? Hmm. Could we? Why not? Yes. Why not? Tonight? 7.30? Hmm. 